Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, trapezoid uh, A, B, C, D, E. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this side uh, D, E length uh, is uh, 4 units. And this uh, D, E length uh, is equal to this uh, B, C side length. And moreover, uh, this segment uh, C, D length is being represented by X. The side uh, A, E length uh, is 2X minus 1. And finally, this uh, side A, B length is being uh, represented by 2X plus 1. And furthermore, uh, all these uh, angles are our uh, 90 degree angles. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, pentagon. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know that this uh, ED segment uh, equal to this segment uh, BC. If this is 4, then this uh, BC segment has got to be 4 units as well. And here's our next step. Now we are going to calculate the value of uh, X. Therefore, we are going to connect these two vertices A and D as you can see in this uh, next step. And as a result, we are ended up with this uh, right triangle uh, AED. And I'm going to label this hypotenuse uh, as our side uh, C. And in this uh, next step, I have dropped this uh, perpendicular uh, DF on this base uh, AB. And as a result, we are ended up with uh, another uh, right triangle uh, AFD. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, DF length uh, equal to this uh, BC side length. This is 4. So this has got to be 4 units as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, segment uh, BF length uh, equal to this segment uh, CD length. This is X. So therefore, uh, this segment length is uh, X as well. And we know this whole uh, AB segment length uh, is uh, 2X plus 1. So therefore, uh, this remaining segment uh, AF length uh, has got to be 2X plus 1 minus X is going to give us uh, X uh, plus 1. So thus our this uh, segment uh, AF length uh, turns out to be X plus 1. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle AED. Let's apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is uh, lowercase c, whereas our two other legs are 2x minus 1 and 4. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, 2x uh, minus uh, 1 whole square plus uh, 4 square equal to c square. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity. a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus uh, 2 times a b plus b square. We are going to apply on this uh, binomial. So therefore that is going to give us uh, 4x uh, square minus uh, 4x uh, plus uh, 1 and then plus 16 equal to c square and i'm going to label this one as our equation number one and now we are going to focus on this other right triangle afd and we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well and here's our pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square in our case our hypotenuse is lowercase c whereas our two other legs are x plus 1 and 4. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x uh, plus 1 whole square plus uh, 4 square equal to c square. And now let's recall another identity. a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus uh, 2 times a b plus b square. We are going to apply this identity on this uh, binomial. So therefore, we could write uh, x square plus uh, 2x uh, plus uh, 1 plus uh, 16 is going to be equal to c square. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number 2. So thus we are ended up with uh, equation 1 and equation 2. 
and now we are going to compare these two equations we can see our right hand sides are identical so therefore we can equate the left hand sides as well so therefore we could write 4x square minus 4x plus 17 is going to be equal to x square plus 2 times x plus 17 and now we could see this 17 and 17 is gone and now I'm going to move everything uh, on the other side and let's combine the like terms so that's going to give us uh, 3x square minus 6x is going to be equal to 0 and now I'm going to divide uh, across the board uh, by 3 to make our job simple so therefore we are ended up with the uh, x square minus uh, 2 times x equal to 0 and now I'm going to factor out x so we got x minus 2 equal to 0 and now we could see we can break these factors down so either x equal to 0 or our x value x minus 2 value equal to 0 or simply x is going to be equal to positive 2 and this value is x equal to 0 and now we can see that x equal to 0 value is not feasible so therefore we are going to reject this x equal to 0 value and we are going to accept uh, x equal to positive 2 value so thus our x value turns out to be 2 so therefore uh, this segment cd length uh, is going to be x uh, which is equal to 2 this segment uh, ae length is going to be 2 times 2 is going to give us 4 minus 1 is going to be 3 units and finally this segment is going to be 2 times 2 is going to be 4 plus 1 is 5 units and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, pentagon area is going to be equal to the area of the right triangle uh, AED and the trapezoid ABCD area and here we can see this uh, right triangle is our uh, AED and this uh, is our uh, trapezoid uh, ABCD so therefore now our task is to calculate the area of this triangle uh, AED and the area of the trapezoid uh, ABCD as well so therefore here is our next step we are going to calculate the area of this uh, right triangle uh, AED let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is always equal to a half times base times the height of the triangle and in our case uh, the base uh, is 4 and the height is uh, 3 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, so we are going to get uh, 1 divided by 2 times uh, 4 times 3 let's multiply and simplify that is going to give us uh, 6 uh, square units and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, ABCD as well. And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula. Area is always equal to height uh, H times the sum of these two bases A and B all over 2. And here in our case uh, the height of this trapezoid is 4. The base uh, A is 2. The base B is 5. So therefore uh, the area of this uh, trapezoid ABCD is going to be 4 times uh, 2 plus uh, 5 uh, all over 2 and here we can see 4 divided by 2 reduces to 2 and 2 plus 5 is going to give us 7 so therefore we could write uh, 2 times uh, 7 is going to give us uh, 14 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, whole uh, pentagon and now let's recall this equation once again the pentagon area equals to the triangle uh, AED area plus the trapezoid area and we already figured out uh, both of these areas over here let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so we got uh, AED area as 6 uh, plus uh, the trapezoid area is 14 and if we add that is going to give us uh, 20 square units the area of this uh, pentagon so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this pentagon turns out to be 20 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye